The London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine has sat proudly in the heart of Bloomsbury since 1929. Around the frieze of our building is the name of 23 scientists, who were all men. On our 120th anniversary as an institute, we're rectifying that by adding the names of women pioneers in health to our heritage building, including Alice Augusta Ball. Alice Ball was a chemist who lived in Hawaii at the beginning of the 20th century. Alice was unusual in many ways. She was young. She was also the first woman to take a master's at the university and to teach there, and the first African-American. Alice's big achievement was to discover a treatment for leprosy. Leprosy is one of the oldest diseases known to mankind. There was no cure for leprosy. It was a criminal offence to have leprosy, and you were incarcerated in this awful, awful leprosy colony island of Molokoi. What Alice did is to discover a way to inject an oil from a tree called the Chalmuga tree, and um, to find a way to make it water soluble so it could be injected into the bloodstream. And it resulted in 78 patients being released from the Molokoi clinic after the treatment and thousands of other leprosy patients were allowed to stay home with their families and be treated. And the striking thing about Alice is that she died very young, just a year after her discovery, so she never got to see the fruits of it. She was also not recognised by her university or more globally until very recently. The president of Hawaii University, who was also a chemistry professor, took her research and put his own name on it. I think what strikes me is the focus she must have had, despite being different. And I think that shows how much we can achieve if we get our heads down and get on with the work. Which she did when she finished her work day at Hawaii University. All the research for Jomalongo oil was done in her own time. I think Alice Ball was a highly gifted individual with a very inquisitive nature. I would say Alice is an inspirational pioneer.